next grammar point is the subject pronouns with the postposition name. We know that the subjects in the perfective tenses of the transitive verbs take the postposition ne. For example, Ramesh ne samosa khaya, Ramesh ate samosa, Radha ne chai pee, Radha drank tea. Both Ramesh and Radha take the postposition ne, Ramesh ne, Radha ne. Similarly, the subject pronouns also take the postposition ne. Here is the list of subject pronouns with the postposition ne. When the subject is ma, I, it will take the postposition ne to make mane. For tu, it is tu ne. Ye and wo will become isne and usne. Hum will be humne. Tum will be tumne. Aap aapne. Ye and we will become inhone and unhone. The question word con will become kisne with the postposition ne. Remember only the third person will change. Ye and wo, he, she and it will become isne and usne. And ye and we will become inhone and unhone. Here are a few example sentences. Hamne chai pee, we drank tea. The subject hum gets the postposition ne, hamne. Unhone kala chashma pehna, he wore sunglasses. Here the honorific is used. The literal translation is they wore sunglasses. But because of the honorific, the subject is singular. He wore sunglasses. Kya tumne ye daraz kholi? Did you open the drawer? Unhone tab pehli baar pahar dekhe. They saw the mountains for the first time. Kisne kaam nahi kiya? Who did not do the work? The question word is con here. Who? But it is with the postposition ne. It is kisne. Maine kal do kahaniya likhi. I wrote two stories yesterday. There's one more thing to remember with perfective tenses. We know that in the perfective tenses of the transitive verbs, the object dictates the verb form in gender and number. But when the sentence does not have the object, the verb will take the masculine singular form. Mane dekha, I saw. We don't know the object here, what or who. So it is masculine singular, dekha. Similarly, us ladki ne kaha, the girl said. There is no object, so the verb is masculine singular form, kaha. Usne suna, he heard. Again, no object, so masculine form, suna. Sita ne dekha, Sita saw. When the object is a pronoun, the verb will again take the masculine singular form. Usne mujhe khincha, he pulled me. The verb is in masculine singular form because the object is a pronoun, mujhe. Humne usko nahi suna, we did not hear him. Again, masculine form because the object is a pronoun, usko. Unhone ise mara, they beat him. Kya tumne unko dekha hai? Have you seen them? And there's a final note. The model verb sakna and pana will never take the subject with the postposition ne. Ma kha nahi saka, I could not eat. Wo film dek nahi paya, he wasn't able to watch the movie. Meri behen kal ga nahi saki. My sister could not sing yesterday. Kal barish thi, hum football nahi khel sake. It rained yesterday, we could not play football. Here all the verbs are transitive, but with the model verbs sakna and pana, so the subject will not take the postposition ne.